Yeah, I left my ginger shot. I left my ginger shot. My coat. <laughs> Wanna? I'm gonna get it at halftime. Yo. Yo, what's the vibes, man? Uh, we're all set. We back. Episode uh 114. My name is Rich. You already know the boy. I it's got my shit. man free. Good. I ain't mean to cut cut you off. Yeah, good brother, Uncle Free. I'm here. I'm in the building. Holla. You know what? I wanted to let I wanted to take a quick pause, bro, cause to start the drink. Cause I'm like, yo, people ask me all the time, like, yo, what's your whole situation? Like, what's the show about? Whatever, whatever. And I like, I like wanted to be very clear. Like, this show, I see it as a show for intelligent black people, whether you book smart or street smart. And me and Free is here to bridge the gap between the two. You know what I'm saying? We like we 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 gonna fill you in, bridge the gap for intelligent black people, whether you book smart or street smart. That's what we doing here. It's, that's the mission. You feel me? Now Copy. let's get let's get this let's get this energy let's get this episode going. This energy going. What's popping, Brody? What you about to get into? What, 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 where you going? What, you going doing big things? I got to Yeah, I got, I'm gonna have you know what I mean. I'm gonna have a little one. I'm bringing her to New York Thanksgiving. Ooh. I really and I'm really not anticipating. It. I'm keeping a buck with you. Like, I really don't want to go, but <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother put the press on me. Yeah. Um. She that like, yo, girl. I want you to pull up, like, you know, bring your daughter. Good family guilt. Yeah, I mean, my aunt, she's sick, you oh. know. God That's bless her. So, you know, other family members, like, you know, you got to make the best of them. You never yeah. know if you're going to have too many more left. Yeah, yeah. Respectfully. Yeah, yeah. So, we going, you know what I mean? We going to get on a plane around 9 p.m. Hopefully, it's not too crowded. It's not OD, you, you know, know what I mean? Because I'm going to have my child with me because that's going to be hectic, but... We're going to try to get through that the best way we can. I'm going to let I mean? you know now. So how, yeah, just prepare for the worst when it comes to that crowded shit. Like, yeah, nah. I already know it's going to be egregious. Be... <laughs> what? I know it's going to be egregious. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, I'm going to try to get there like six. You yeah. know what I mean? Type shit. Word. Make a flight at night. What about you? What you got going on, my boy? Oh, yo, I'm chilling, B. I just came back from South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, the money, <laughs> the money is spent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I saw <laughs> <laughs> I told her like look B like my mom just got married like a month and a half ago. I was there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Breach got set out, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, yeah she'd be all right. The family would be all right. I seen them like but I, j- I, I was just, just there, there too. I f- and I was just in New York too for a wedding. And it's like y'all niggas put a lot of pressure on me. Don't yeah. harass me Christmas time. Yeah. Like y'all niggas had to come down here. Yeah, That's why I'm at Christmas with Christmas is canceled. Like I went back to I went to see the fam a couple times. Uh huh. Came off Breach when I was there. Did went to South Africa. Christmas is canceled. You know what I mean? Like people so don't good. understand, like being down here. You know what's funny? Like niggas always expect us to like shoot up north every for every opportunity, but it's like, where is the reciprocation? You know what I mean? Like, come holla at niggas. You know what I mean? We here. You know what I'm saying? Like, My mom's husband was saying that, like, yo, you know we gotta come check you with them. Like, yeah, you do. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know I mean? like, That'd be the right thing that'd to be do. The right thing. Like, y'all do the red carpet too. I got a red carpet here. Like, you know what I mean? I'm put you take get you together, but Jesus! Every time I, you mean, always I gotta, I always gotta pull up. Where you gonna eat at? I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know, man. I'm having arguments with different. Like, you cooking or not? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> let me ask you this: What is what's the protocol for Thanksgiving? Like, yo, I feel like if, yo, you, if honestly, you knock her down, somebody you knocking down on a regular. I, if, if 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 I'm calling you my joint, there, there needs to be a plate around. Like, I don't care what. Yeah. It is. I'm, if I'm calling you my joint, there needs to be a plate around. Somehow, some way, make it shake, right? Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm just clapping your cheeks, still needs to be a plate around. Still need a plate. Make it shake. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't t- I get it. I'm not top priority for your, for your, me, for your, for the meal making if I'm just clapping your shit. But I definitely need to be situated. Like, now, thank you, your boy. Is lack of plates going to move anybody up and down for the sure. total pole? For sure. Or whoever comes through. Because it's not necessarily about a plate of food. It's about being considerate. Like, are yeah. you worried about my nourishment? You yeah. feel me? Like, yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you worried about my nur- my nourishment and my care and my, my upkeep? Huh? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what yeah. do you mean? Like, I don't think that's asking too that's much. That's not asking too much. Now, and it's free. It's not like you got to go spend the money. All you got to do is wrap the plate rip up. Wrap it up. Oh, nice. So, oh, oh, so you want something cooked from scratch if they not if they don't I, got a family I situation? Prefer it. I, pref- I want to cook. I, I, I prefer it cooked from scratch. But look, though, I, I'll even work with a shorty, right? All right, boom. Your work schedule might be hectic. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Copy. Your Aunt Bernice made something. Go get me go a get plate, the plate. Yeah, that's Aunt what I'm Bernice saying. Crib. Can, can she go pick up the plate? That's sturdy. That's yeah. The effort is what the truly counts deep down yeah. inside. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a low effort goes a long way. I be telling joints that, like, 
a little effort. Niggas don't really want the moon and the stars, but like yeah. bro said, like make to know that you went, make about. a nigga feel cared about. To know that you went and grabbed the plate for a nigga, that's the right thing to do, <laughs> b. Right. If you're not going to cook something, at least go get my man right. The That's fuck? what I'm saying. Like, all right, life is hectic. I get it. But my Big Mama Joe cooked up. Go get me a plate. Like, make it shake for I, your boy. Nah, I think that's 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 reasonable. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. Especially at this big age. Like, because you know niggas want to eat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even with all, like, the holiday pilgrims rhetoric and all that, whatever the shit stands for. But <laughs> I'm at the point where, like, a nigga need a plate, like, Fortunately, I'm gonna be at grandma's house, so I'm gonna eat right. Yeah. But for my niggas, for the brother, my brother Rich, you know who's gonna be here? Who's you know what I'm saying? If you if you feel like you love him and that's somebody you care about, make yeah. sure he's right, bro. It's only right because we're gonna talk about you in the group chat if you don't do the right it's thing. It's only right because you know I mean? then because then don't pull up for for Saint Nick. Talking about oh yeah, Christmas right around the corner. You need ah ah ah, or you wanna ah ah ah. And you ain't feed me for the things. It don't go like that. Christmas is right around the corner. Behavior today determines how Christmas going to be. Don't get crazy. Bro. You know what I mean? Like, you got to start. Some of y'all don't be thinking in the future. Y'all be thinking short-sighted. Y'all got to think long-term. Like, you know what I mean? You want a good Christmas. And then right after Christmas, Valentine's Day. But So we're going to see who's who. It's gonna, starting now. I ain't going to lie. I seen, I seen something on the gram this morning. It was some. It was a dude on another podcast. I don't even know what podcast it was. He was on there claiming, saying, "Yo, why would you put your wife through the traumas of the past and make her cook and clean and all that? Like her grandmother did that. Why would you make her do that? Why wouldn't you go pay a maid and all that?" I'm like, "Yo, you know what, man? This new this this new man suckiness that's of going ladies, on, bro. Me. I'm sick of them. Like, this new guy, you? this new guy suckiness that's going on. Listen, fam. Like if she like." All right, we all know your wife, your shorty is not your slave. You're not going to get crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But the basics of a loving woman is to nurture and feed her family. If, you, if you're dealing with a shorty that don't want to cook for you, or don't want to, you know what I mean? That's deep, bro. That's She, she don't want to nourish you, bro. She don't want to yeah, put nutrition into you. your body, bro. That's yeah. a form of love, bro. Yeah. Like, what? Are you crazy? And if she don't clean, that's just nasty. Bro. Yeah, that's just nasty. What type like, of shorty is not naturally cleanly? Especially like, if she just at your crib. Like, I just had a shorty, she was at the crib. Yeah, you know I mean, she wanted to stay an extra day. So I was like, listen, I got shit to do, whatever. You could poly. But when I came back, the crib was spick and span. Real speed. That's a real you know joint. Mean? What are you talking about? She was like, yo, I cleaned your bathroom. Yeah. I cleaned the toilet bowl. The toilet was dirty as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, like. We not, under here, we not over here ruling with an iron fist. But if the if the love is real, if the vibe is right, certain things are supposed to be happening because the vibe is right. What are we talking about? Yeah. No, nah, I agree, B. Like, if you're not willing to, like, willingly cook and clean, like. You not you show me you don't really care, so yeah. now I'm gonna show you I don't care. Yeah, like you, you know what I'm saying. Either you don't care about me or you don't know how to love right. Either way, you're red flags, you're a red flag, red bro. Flags. You a dove. Red flags, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like what is boy. And you could be that person, just niggas gonna know how to deal with you. Like you gonna yeah. be at the bottom row. Like niggas it's still fucking it's all love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I just know where to put you. Yeah. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Like that's all it is. You know what I mean? What you talking about? Anyway, though, let's let's let's, let's get into along. let's get into the yeah, you know I mean, let's get into the nitty gritties. There's something been a lot going on in the music game. Your yes, man, sir. Uh, your man Nasir Nasir Jones dropped dropped thirty KD3. years later, thirty since, years since later. Elmatic, and he's still outside doing the things he likes to do. Twenty one Savage and them gave that shit the yawns. <laughs> he said like, he wasn't relevant. Was he <laughs> right for that? Was he disrespectful? Where do you stand on that? Is Nas relevant? I right, I'm gonna stand. I right, boom right. Now, people was using things like Grammys and all that to, to, to dispute relevancy, and I can't go for that. Like, I'm not going to let you use the Grammys to tell me why somebody's relevant, because the Grammys is like, yeah, that's not a vibe. That's not but the it culture. But it got to hold some It matters, but it's it not the culture, somewhere. though. The Grammys matter, but it's not the culture. 85% of the, the, the black artists nominated for Grammy, I never heard of. Like, y'all don't... The Grammys is not the culture, but to say Nas nah, is not... Like... That's crazy just due to the fact of the quality of the music and the fact that he's been going hit boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's been giving yeah, he's you been hit trying boy. Yeah, like, he's trying to keep you contemporary. He's not necessarily going like mega boom bap old. Like, he's going hit boy. He's going like joints that we heard. Like, not heard, but it, we doing. he's doing popular joints. He's not doing straight take it back to the 80s music. You know what I'm saying? So to call Nas irrelevant is just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But 
is he relevant like a like a Twenty One Savage? Like, is the new kid checking for him? Is like, he relevant to the niggas that's on Cleveland Ave right yeah, now? Probably on not. 20, 25 probably, and under, yeah, nah. probably not. But to call see relevancy has levels. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because, just because. I'm not popping with some kids don't mean I'm not relevant. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's nah, nah. crazy. And I think that's what 21 Savage was really trying to convey. Like, maybe his generation and younger, he he's not really relevant. And I think that kind of could tie back into, like, a question we posed, God bless the dead, when we talked about when Takeoff passed, like, where do we rate Migos? Like, are they a top generation? I had seen that on one of the, you know what I'm saying, blogs on the internet. Yeah. And a lot of the young niggas was like, yeah, they, they top three. They the best. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then a lot of old head niggas was pointing out like, wait a minute, what about NWA? Yeah. What about Bone Thugs? So I think with Nas, he's, I think he deserves enough to respect to say that he's transcended a lot of generations. Because I got a younger cousin, but he's from New York, that listens to Nas. He's 19. But I will say, I think niggas from the South, like maybe 21 Savage's demographic, well, can we, aren't, aren't listening to Nas. Can we stand up? 21 Savage is not young. I mean, Savage is like thirty years old, B. You about thirty, yeah. It's like you like thirty, fam. You about old 30. enough to be, but you you was old. You old enough to have to be listening to some Nas, bro. Like you not no. You trying yeah. to talk like you baby drill? Like you not nineteen, bro. Like you not sixteen. You not twenty. You thirty years old. Twenty one Savage. Like you, it's not that crazy for you to bump some Nas. Like it's not, nah, it's nah, not that nah. Crazy. I feel you, but I feel like to really appreciate Nas shit, and and I like his album, but I think it's something we touched on. It's a lot of tracks, you know what I mean? The KD3 is 17 tracks. Do I want to hear 17 back to back to back? I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I'd have been cool with 10, 11. So I think with that, and a nigga that even like 21 Savage, you grew up in the South, like, sometimes this shit might be too bar fest for niggas, you know what I mean? Not everybody wants to be preached to all the time. Yeah, I mean, me So I'm just saying that the niggas that like, and more so it really goes to the intelligence of the fan. Like, I feel like the niggas that's on lean and popping pills all day, they're not really trying to hear Nas. But my thing, like, even with this last album, okay. right? Like, like when Nas is on Tommen, like when Nas is popping, popping his really talking crazy, talking his fly talk, and the beats is like banging, and he's really because Nas is still one of the flyest to ever do it. Yeah, facts. he's talking crazy. If you can't respect the mink drag, then you're not even. I can't even respect that you even understand about flyness. Like he's dragging his mink crazy, but now. When you slow it down, and he want to tell you stop shooting niggas and all this. <laughs> nah, nah, it's being like, <laughs> I mean, like, pack this up, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to hear that, Nas. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm trying to hear King of the World, Nas. You know what I mean? I'm trying I'm to hear the, money. I got some fly yeah, honey. Like, I like I'm, when niggas drag their mink. I'm trying to hear the Nas that hit your moms and your, and your, and your, and your daughter. Like, and yeah, your little sister. And like, your little sister. <laughs> you know yeah. yeah. Like, I'm trying to hear that, Nas. I'm like, trying to hear that. I like those bars. <laughs> you know I'm I ain't going to lie. Like, I want to hear that now. That's just me personally, you know, my personal ignorance. That's just what I'm into. You ever said? Uh, I'm happy with the production, though. I'm glad that you know he got with somebody that they could put together quality. You know what I'm saying? Bodies but, of work. But, with. but seeing has how on uh, Twenty One just dropped two. Who you rather? Who you gonna bump first? Are you listen to KD Three? You listen to Drake and Twenty One? I up. mean, I've listened to Drake shit more. <laughs> but it's more so because of Drake. Like, I'm not going to say it's because yeah. of 21. Yeah, like, it's not because of 21. I'm going to give it a buck. It's because of Drake. Like, I'll be going to Drake shit. I'll be looking forward to my. I'll be throwing Drake, middle of the ocean. That's all Drake. I'm going to be real. Like, it's a couple. 21 might have had like two or three good standout verses on that, but I could have. We could have. I could have been without it, bro. could have went without him. Yeah, I mean, I was. I'm like, I'm, I'm paused, but I'm here for the Drake yeah. energy. But not. But 21 Savage, even though he has success and he has some. I like 21 Savage, but. He's nowhere near at the level, a acumen, a, 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 a musician to even be commenting on anything Nas got going on. He can't on. front on Nas on some money shit either because Nas nah, brick is up. Nah, <laughs> he definitely don't have more money than <laughs> Nas. Nas. Money. I was like, Nas, Nas got Nas. ring investments, all kind of yeah, shit. Like He's yeah. definitely relevant in that in the, in the yeah. investment yeah. side of things. Yeah. Like You want to talk bread, we yeah. could definitely he could talk that with yeah. you. Nah, so we're not going to get crazy. Yeah, I'm not. You know what I mean? 21 got to chill. He got to chill. And like, I just want to say, like, like um at this point Nas I'm I feel like it'd be disrespectful to call Nas a rapper at this point like Nas is a po poet laureate he's a like, poet bro he's a poet laureate like he should be in books he should be he should be studied in in Illmatic was in was like is in like the public Congress like the United States yeah. Congress library like yeah. this shit is a little different a little so different. I feel like when like even like like twenty one he definitely could have chosen his words wisely because like when you when you talk about a nigga of that stature and who's like arguably put out the greatest album in rap history, which yeah. is the genre that you're eating off of. Yeah. Like, you got to be a little bit more respectful of how you talking about niggas. Like, yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, let's not he's get crazy. Chill. You gotta chill. He's gotta chill. He's smelling it. Oh, he's smelling himself. We in award season. Um, yeah, like a bunch of joints I don't care nothing about. The AMAs. Dub, I never cared for the AMAs. Yeah, like but... the AMAs dubbed Chris Brown, wasting my man time. Now they bring him back all this vitriol about his formerly smacking up with Rihanna and all but that. But they he won they gave him the best R and B award. It's just ridiculous. It's like, I should, they gave him the award for like best R and B performance, but said like, Yeah, we don't want you to perform your Michael Jackson. It's tribute. like it's like when Kanye it's like when Kanye was like, Yo, people were just canceling me just to get a pub, like just to get some attention. Like yeah. they wasn't like that's the same. I feel like that's what they did with Breezy. Like, yo, we going to dub them just so we can get some some shine. Like, just so people to talk about our award show. Yeah. Nobody care about the AMAs. Nah, I'm good. Like, what is the even the AMAs? I mean, like, like, I don't like, think niggas... I mean, it looks good on your trophy case, though. Yeah, like, what is the, I don't good. even know what the trophy looks like. What is the AMA it's trophy? It's like, I like? think it's the um pyramid joint. Nah, I'm good. I could do without it. Copy, copy. The Grammy nominations came out. Don't care about them. Once I don't care. Best rap album. Who you think got it? Kendrick, Pusha, Harlow, Future, Khaled. I mean... Push the album is, is, is like the best rapidity rap rapidity album. rap album of the year by far. I mean, me personally, I would go with Pluto out of all of those. That's a shot. That's the joint I would do. I yo, I'm gonna be real, bro. Talk to me for Jack Harlow to have a Grammy nomination for a rap, bro. He's so overrated. Come to on, me. like it's just so disrespectful to the game. Like, what are we doing right now? Like, can we just, all right, well, we at a point in rap and music where we just, like, the highest bidder gets whatever you want. Like, whoever puts the most money into the game, you get that, that you win. Like, yeah, that's absolutely. basically what that's we where we're at. Because this is disgusting. Like, that's Jack, where we're at. Like, Jack Harlow should not have had an, like, Jack Harlow should not have had an arena tour. His, like, yo, it was so hard to sell them tickets, bro. I had to sell them tickets for half price, right? Jack Harlow should not have had an arena tour. Jack Harlow should not be nominated for no rap album of the year. They're trying to what? shove him down our throats, pause, but for, it's just not what, it. What, bro? What what rap album of what year, bro? Did any yeah. JC Penny Drake? Yo, they bought, I, I'm just so upset about Jack Harlow, dog. Then best album, like if anybody but Bad Bunny wins best anything at this point, like what are we talking about, like? Yeah, he's he's one of the biggest things. <laughs> like, he's doing his shit look like Michael Jackson yeah, idiot. It's his, crazy. his concerts. It's crazy. He got the whole he's the first like all Spanish speaking album to get nominated. So. And I'm gonna be real, like all, like you know when you be out the country, you go to different spots woo woo and they playing all that and yeah. they just be like, Oh, this joint fine. All them joints is bad. bad I, I didn't know all of them songs was bad. Bunny, be bad bunny. So. Like, don't be like, fool. What? Yo, they don't all be his, fool. They all his songs. He got wild I joints, didn't know that. bro. I was like, yo, these are all bad. But like, oh, I ain't know. I my bad, bro. I, like when that, that Shaq meme, I, I was not, I was not um, aware of your game. Yeah, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's 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 super sturdy. My like, fault, bad bunny. I was not aware of your game. What? Shout to Glorilla though. She got a nomination for best what? rap performance. Shout I'm, I'm, you know what I mean, for F and F. So I'm always, I'm I'm happy always, for her. I'm always rocking with Glow. You know what I mean? I'm happy she. Yeah, you know I mean, like I said, we don't, we're not gonna put too much onto the Grammys, but I'm happy that they was like, yo, we can't front on her. Like, pray, pray for her, bro. Yo, Gotti just bought her a chain. Yeah. Pray for her. Oh my god. Meek just came out, uh, speaking of music and niggas getting raped, Meek just came out and said, yo, I've made $11 million off my music in the 11 years I've been rapping, which is about a million a year, which isn't that's gross. Not a, yeah, I mean, that's great in the law. In the it's like, race, in the, it's, for, it's, 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 it sounds good person. compared to a regular person, but then when he said the Going Bad song, he asked the label how much they made off that song, and they said $24 million. And he asked them how much he made, and they just started like mumbling, like, oh. <laughs> like so you mean to tell me one song made twenty four million, and Meek Mill only made eleven in eleven years? Yeah. It's kind of gross. I mean, for one, we you feel sorry up. for niggas though? No, for one, I right, let me tell you, I'm gonna give you my reason why I don't feel sorry for Meek. It's a laundry list. All right, boom, you came out young. You did not know. You did not do the read, do the knowledge on the music industry deals and all that. You first con you signed into all type of rappers. First, you signed the Ti and Grand Hustle. Then you, then you, whatever the how happened with how that, that got transferred then to Rick you, Ross. Then you got, like, then you got signed by Rick Ross. So Ti probably still ate a couple of, like off. He still got albums. a couple you know points. What I'm it's like, come on, be like, you signed with all these different. Then you signed the other rappers. You're not even signing directly to labels. So you just let you just gave you've been giving these guys points off your life the yeah. whole time. You know what I'm saying? And then like you signed under Ross when Ross was signed under Puff. And under, like, yeah, you know I'm saying it's like, yo, it's, it's getting greasy. complicated, fam. Like, and I will this say going? this, like, you know, the people be like, oh, Meek was young, but like you said, like, by the time I remember watching VH from behind the music when TLC got on there and said, listen, we went diamond and we walked yeah. away with thirty three thousand dollars a piece, and she broke it down. So like, 
for me, that was something I would be like, yo, if I learn how to make beats or somehow I end up in the music industry, I'm going to make sure, like, I'm going to do my due diligence. Like, I'm going to make sure I yeah. find a good lawyer that's not the label's lawyer. Yeah. Like, you just, you know, some shit, common sense, because you're not, everybody be like, read the contract. There's language in the contract that the yeah. average person is not going to understand. Yeah, if you say. But on the same time, like, me, like, you know that, like, this has been going on for how long? Like, you know niggas been getting jerked. So, like, yeah. come on now. Like, it's one thing, like, <coughs> you got to have common sense be in this world, like, if you out here negotiating with some people or doing a business deal or whatever, whatever, and like they like, oh, we got a good lawyer for you, like, why would you like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you hire a lawyer that somebody that's negotiating for their best interest against you suggested to you, fams? Like, what are we doing out here? Like Yeah, I saw I saw a segment of making a band was just talking about how they was getting raped and they was just like they just said the same thing. They was like, Well, you know, when we went in Puff came through and was like, yeah, he was this lawyer. Like, basically, he was my lawyer yeah. to sign to me. So it was he like- my lawyer to sign to yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and then it was like, the checks was coming from Puff's mom. So, like, you know, he had all types of layers oh and shit <laughs> between his shit. And so he was like, yo, the checks wasn't even coming from Puff, Bad Boy Entertainment. It was coming from Puff's mom's LLC. Yo, that's crazy. So dude. you just never know. Like, you know what I mean? You know he playing a different game. But, like, you know, as far as Meek go, like, I mean, hopefully you bought- Is he a, he's a free agent now? Isn't he independent? Man, I don't, I don't know, but I don't think so. Oh, he don't shit. sound He don't sound like it, right? <laughs> you know it's nasty work. Like, he don't sound Russ independent. keep telling y'all niggas what to do and what not to do, and y'all still go against the grain. I don't get it. Because he was just complaining on Twitter like, yo, I'm trying to drop this. I guess he about to drop He trying to drop he Drop Flamers 5. Then he like, yo, I'm trying to figure out how to drop this drink without the streaming service. Like, they raping me on the streaming type, type time. Like, I'm like, yo, I feel you, but figure it out, me. Yeah. You too old to be... You 30 plus, bro. Still crying about how the deals worked out. Like, I mean, I, I think niggas, like, I think now, like, you don't need the label, but you kind of do. Like, but I think what niggas got to start looking to is just signing, like, short term deals. Like, making sure maybe you get an album out of me, you know what I'm saying? And using the label's resources to get you in but, front of niggas. Yeah, you know I mean, cause they that's what the label's for. They're gonna get you they gonna make sure the radios is playing your shit. They're gonna push you to the top. They're gonna get you award nominations. All of the things that help you be relevant. Yeah. And once you get that fame and stardom, then you go independent. Like, Currency yeah. been independent for, like, the last 15 years, exactly. and he's been bubbling. That's you know why I, mean? I feel like if any, every single rapper, if you were up-and-coming rapper, what you need to do, you need to go listen to French Montana's episode or Million Dollar Worth of Game. He broke down how he did his deals. He signed one-offs. His, he been, French Montana been signing one-offs his whole entire career. One label deals. I mean, not one label, one record deals. One album, one oh, album. That's one how album. he do been it. Bringing up every single album. French is super up. French like yo, I got, I got so many points. Like I'm heavy. Like my deal is heavy. Like you know what I'm saying. I got big cribs. Big. You know what I'm saying. Like he's making mad bread off his record. He made yeah. mad bread off Unforgettable. He's in all the way independent now. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's just a way to go about it. Like stop signing. Don't sign for five dip, five albums. Try to get the big advance and all that. Like, yeah, bet nah. on yourself, B. Like, yeah, facts. sign one album, get the low low advance, bet on yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be yeah. smarter, B. Definitely be smarter, for sure. Stop being, I mean, pawn on a slave ship, man. That's a fact. Um, You want to get into the, should we get into the World Fleet segment now? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to take, yeah, 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 yeah. Before we take a break. We're going to get into my brother, good brother, Uncle Free segment. We're all fleet. We, you know what I mean? going to break down something drippy for you. What you got for us this week, brother? Today, you know, I had an idea where I wanted to go, but I think we should just touch on this, you know, what's going on in the news right now with Balenciaga. You know, you can add your, your good two cents. Whoa. So basically, Balenciaga, if you're not familiar, they're a high-end European fashion brand. They just dropped the ad with little kids, you know what I'm saying, and BDSM bondage. Bad they, weird. <laughs> bad weird. Then, like, some of the paperwork surrounding the kids was, like, talking about a child pornography case and freedom of speech. So it was really egregious. But I really just wanted to talk about how, like, y'all, we will let them just play in our face, but niggas will still, like, bow down and go do to the dumb shit. Like, it's crazy to me that niggas will allow them to come out with a child abuse, basically, Ad and by next week, niggas is going to be right back lined up. Like, I haven't bought Gucci since the blackface incident. But when I go to the mall, when I go to Phipps Plaza, guess who's all in lined up for Gucci? People that look like me. No white people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 
the black dollar is so powerful, like, especially retail-wise. Like, we set the trends. We are what Flea is. Like, they look at us, and then they copy it. Like, I was looking at Da Vinci um, right. lookbook. They just made a fake Iowa song They code. just made a fake Iowa song code. You know that. what I'm saying? I that shit was that. crazy. I I'm like, that. damn. Like, that's what you know what I'm saying. Like, they not even being, they not even, they don't even give a fuck. Like, they just going to bite what's, what we know, what we make hot. They running with that. But we got to, like, start dubbing these niggas when they start playing with us. Like, mm. it's quiet, B. They can't get no money from me. But I, yeah, I feel, you know how that go though. They they they, they did the weird joint with the little kids, but ain't nobody yeah. gonna really. You know how that go, be people ain't gonna really hold them to that. Be they gonna. It's 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 it's, it's sad. I just you know be, because we're a podcast and we speak for the culture. I just want to speak to the culture. Like first of all, a lot of Balenci shit. We gonna stay on like this shit's trash, bro. Like come on, be like they not even like they want a thousand for a t shirt with a little weird flag on it. Like no, bro. Like they shit is wild, goofy. You know what it is too. I feel like if. If it was something racial, it would be easier for niggas to be like, oh, we not doing that, da 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 But, like, the whole child thing, like, people be so creeped out by it. Like, people just don't want to touch it. They just want to act like they never saw it. Like, they just want to... I swear, like, it's, like, plausible deniability. Like, everybody just act like they don't see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm good on Nike. I'm not, like, you know, I got Nikes in the closet, but I'm not going... I'm said I'm, you know what, I'm going to just stop buying Nike because I don't like how they play with Kyrie. Like, it's certain shit, and we make them hot. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. <clears throat> We what are we on round thirty five of them bringing out the Jordan Elevens? Like, come on, bro. Uh, they not even trying to be original. They giving you Jordan Eleven, Jordan One, and y'all niggas is falling for like they probably remixed the red, white, and black Jordan ones ten times in the past five years. Yeah, and you niggas is still lining up like it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. There's other niggas out there, be like, you know what I mean? You don't have to go that route. Be if they showing that they not fucking with us, like we got to start showing that we not with them. And Balenciaga just going with the child pornography is like really crazy, super crazy. And that's when it's not drippy. It's not even that drippy, bro. It's not that drippy. Big, goofy, goofy wears, bro. Big, dumb shirts. You don't have to spend $1,500 on a Mary's either. Big, like, nasty shoe. Big yeah, nasty big, weird shoe. shoe. Like, come on, bro. Them big, big goofy shoes shoe. was trash, bro. Big, nasty them, shoe. At, them triple S's, those was terrible. Like, I be nasty seeing niggas still wearing shoe. them shits because they, like, probably spent that bread yeah. and they don't want to let them go. Big them shits nasty, is trash, bro. Big, nasty cargoes. Just... It's like big. I don't like Balenci, bro. It's just a lot of big nasty. Like I don't know. I think it's like a fat nigga, flat nigga with money get away with brand. Like yo, I'm, I'm just wearing some big nasty clothes and get away with it. Like, yeah, I'm good. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm. We're all set on Balenci over here. Yeah, you know good. what I mean? So that's what you know. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna get right back to y'all. We coming back second half. You already know at least come baggery all we're day. Talk about all the wild homies that been going on all day. We're getting in the sports heavy sports been bubbling. All day. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. We back at it. We back at it. You already know. Part two. We kicking off part two. How we kick off every part two to every epi with Elite Scumbaggery. Right? If y'all don't know already, if you new here, Elite scumbaggery means some scumbag foolishness got done, or you 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 were somebody that did some scumbag antics, but the way you pulled it off was so elite, and you got over so crazy that we have to respect it. Copy. Who's, right? who's the elite scumbag for the week, my boy? So today's elite scumbag of the week is the um the insta the Instagram and um Twitter relationship guru niggas. <laughs> I'm going to stand up, right? Right? The gaff who y'all pulling is so epic and elite. The way y'all got the wool drawn over the shorty's eyes and make y'all believe that y'all is like, like that. Or like y'all got the guys believing that y'all like that and they need to be more like y'all. I need to see receipts, man. The biggest I need to see. What? Remember the dude from last year? Like, his like the relationship Jackson. I can't remember his name, but he found out he had been cheating on his wife. Oh, and the all super that. good guy, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I need to see receipts, bro. I need to see these. I need to see these guys as our messages. I need to see these. Who's your? Let me see your work, bro. Mm-hmm. Who is you out here giving advice and telling me how to get cheeks, bro? Who are you clapping, bro? I would need to see some proof, bro. Facts. Because I'm seeing dudes like, yo, I tell my wife every day that what, what can I do to make her bath water warmer. <laughs> then I look at the wife. She three fifty. 
Nasty I don't want to hear this, work. man. I don't want to hear this, man. You're not you respecting it. You don't got teams, bro. <laughs> like you might like uh, you were successful with your your your. You might be successful. It might have worked for you a couple of times. Now you want to tell other guys how to get box and all that, and what you go for, what you won't go for. And then we like, bro, you don't hit the caliber niggas hit, bro. Stop. Yes, like you're not off. supposed to be. You got to be hitting caliber to be giving advice, bro. Facts. Like, if you're not hitting caliber, stop giving advice, B. Flat out. Like, flat out. Like, stop that shit. Like, and stop giving, stop trying to give men advice based on what you think the women want to hear you say to the men. That's what they doing. That's bro. corny, son. And that's how they get all these women followers. You know, women, if they support something, they're they going to support. They're going to spend their money. They're going to subscribe. They're going to do all that good but shit. But you a dirtbag in, she, in sheep's clothing. You yeah. put, you trying to front to the gazas like you for them. But you really just telling the gazas what you know the shorties want you to hear you tell the gazas. But that's not really how you clap chicks. That's mm -hmm. not how you really get bad things. Nobody ever got a bad thing by actually listening to what women say. <laughs> like that's not how you get them. You don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's no, not that's how you fact. get them. That's a fact. Yeah, be yeah. I think it's the elite scumbags. It's elite because y'all getting over y'all winning, but y'all playing a dirty game, man. Sick of y'all, man. Copy, copy. Sick of y'all, man. Let's get into the grimy stuff that's going on, man. More, more Instagram foulness, man. Your man, your girl Shanquella, man. What's going on with that? Long live Shanquella. Um. <laughs> Long live Shanquella is crazy. She just, if you're not familiar with her case, young woman, young black woman from Charlotte, North Carolina, went on a vacation with her friends. Her friends made it back. She didn't. They first came back and said that she had alcohol poisoning. Then footage has surfaced of her getting beat up in the Airbnb. And they ran an autopsy and said she had a broken back, a broken neck. Damn. It's really gross. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um. I'm assuming that everybody's gonna get charged eventually, right? Yeah. Is that nobody? I, nobody's been charged yet. Like, where where are you with this? Like, I mean, they, I mean, I guess they're gonna extradite. I mean, if nobody got charged, they're not gonna. If they somebody got catch them first and send them to a Mexican prison and all that, but yeah, Cause, yeah, because it's a it's a Mexican crime, right? Because yeah. it happened in Mexico. But I'm gonna be real, son. I heard Shanquella was a dirt bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I heard that told. too. I heard Shanquella's a dirt bag, and it's the reason why why they did what they did to Shanquella. We gonna stand up. Yeah. Um. I had saw where they would allegedly she had lined somebody up and one of the people she lined up ended up getting killed and they was cousins with one of the girls on the trip, so that's why they got on their bullshit. And that's when and they found and they happened to find out right there on the trip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm I'm sure they didn't expect for her for that I'm sure they didn't they think probably they was just wanted to her. spank her out. Yeah, they probably didn't think they was gonna kill her. But you know, accident murder still a murder. So yeah. even though they're going down. Yeah, even though Shanquella might have been a sleaze ball. She still probably y'all shouldn't have killed her, have and killed y'all are going down. It's nasty. Yeah, y'all recorded beating her up. Like, yeah, like happen. on top of that, like what like, were you thinking? Who's leaking the videos? Like where are the videos? Where are they like, coming which from? Friend is like, leaking like, them. Like where? They just had, keep hitting the net. Who has the secret footage of Shanquella's? Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know, man. It's weird. Shit, just keep hitting the net. Like you know what I mean? Weird. It's weird. Dude. Some UVA football players got clipped. God bless them. By another UVA football player. What's going on here? Like, you took my spot, and now I just got to finish it? Same you? thing. I'm hearing they might have hazed the nigga a little crazy. Oh, I'm man. seeing that in comments. Like, you know, I don't want to say, you know, there's been a lot of, like, random acts of violence, but I feel like when somebody, when people get killed and there's, like, from within the vicinity of people that you know, like, I won't say it's a valid reason, but there's yeah. more There's a reason. There's something to it's it. It's something to it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, you know what I mean? Like, it could be an accidental shot, but sometimes it get left because something, you know what I mean? Nigga might have felt you wasn't on the right type of time. And again, nobody deserves to die, so we're yeah. never going to promote that. But I've also seen, in a, you know, allegedly, they might have hazed him. They might have did some shit to him, and then he just came back on time and like, hold on. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a different day now. It's obviously a targeted attack. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's not like he just, he could have shot the quarterback. Like, yeah. he shot them he shot specific niggas. Purpose. He shot y'all niggas on yeah. purpose. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna be real, man. Like, like some people are pieces of shit and some people are whatever. Some people are just crazy or whatever, whatever. But a lot of times when somebody gets specifically shot, you feel me? Like, they came and specifically shot you. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? it, like it's something it's, to it. You know what I mean? Like, 
hey man like and especially if it's not like a robbery or something yeah. like something happened bro like somebody felt violated you got specifically shot for a reason dog i'm not coming in between that man i ain't got nothing to do with that bitch. but you know it's unfortunate i ain't coming in between that there's a reason why you got specifically shot for it yo just now it ain't even on the you know what i mean the, earlier today somebody just boomed up like 10 people at Walmart, at Walmart, right? Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Nuts. But he was like an employee. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so no, that, no, that I, I don't go. know what was going on. <laughs> now it's like he shot other employees. So I don't know if they was, you know what I mean? Oh, if he was an employee and he specifically shot other employees only. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't know what happened with that, man. He felt the type of way. Niggas was talking to him greasy. It's just different nowadays, but they'll really people you never will come know, back and boom you. Yeah, they'll come back and boom you. You don't know what nobody's going through. You know what I mean? So you just gotta be respectful and stay out the way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I just seen on recently a nigga just got clapped. You know what I mean? Niggas, I know a friend of mine got clapped over a parking spot, but I just seen another <laughs> nigga got clapped. Arguing, he got killed behind a parking spot. Oh dispute, man, you know what getting mean? killed behind a parking spot is it's crazy. so crazy. Like you can have it, bro. There's I'm one not, thing to get hit in a parking parking argument, but to die? Yeah. You can have a parking spot, bro. I'm, I'll be all right. I'm Yo, not arguing with you. I'm dude, not arguing with strangers no more. I don't understand what's, like, people be bugging the fuck out on the street, bro. Like, dog, why are you so mad, bro? You got to chill, bro. What is wrong with you, You got to chill. You got to chill, bro. Stay strapped up, though. Of That's course. I, you need to to all, our, home, to all our supporters, man, make sure you blicked up. Licked up, man. Of course. Of course. Should we talk some sports? Of course. Kyrie back. You couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. You My son couldn't back. wait. It, the black Israelites showed up outside of Barclays a thousand deep. Shout out to marching. Jalen, shout out to Jalen Brown for tucking his tail immediately. He tucked his tail. I thought it was the cues. Like, damn, they must have been on his back. Is Yo, that I fast? thought it was the cues. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Like, bro, come on. You come saw the on, video, dog. bro. Yo, like, they must have been. It. He must have got a call immediately. Like, really? Like, it's different. But you know what? I. Jalen had out of everybody, he's the only one that really stood stood up for 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 Kyrie. Like, he tried his best. He, he tried his best. best. He's he just like best. without without like losing too much yeah, and like, too much. like yeah, I'm saying he best. trying his best, he B. Best. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him rock. I'm man. gonna stand up. He like he's like yeah, he tried his best, but he could. He like yo, they the cue. I thought it was a cue. I thought it was a cue. Like, Fuck, chill, relax. Because like, I was ready to be a fun <laughs> shit store. They could not wait because you know the ADL got them later as a hate group. They're extremists. Yeah. So as soon as they would that would have been a whole thing like Jalen supporting the extremist hate group. Like, oh man, here y'all go. Yeah, I mean, um, they the hate, Nets lost to the Sixers yesterday with no Embiid, Maxi, and no Harden, so that wasn't a good look. As much as I like Kyrie, but Ben Simmons had a couple highlights. He been showing up. Ben Simmons is like, he looked like he's got over his little mental block that he was going through. Yeah, he seemed yeah. like he's back to where he needs to be. I'm shocked, honestly. Yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. But he looking like just, Ben. I just slandered him the other day. Yeah, but he looking like he, maybe isn't he like you know what? Maybe I do need to play because I need yeah. some more checks. I need you know more saying? checks, like. Because eventually, if you don't keep on playing, you're not going to have enough money to be with 10 joints. Be, yeah, you're not going to be with 10. What? It's going to doodle down to one. Yeah, and then, then it then, can get dark. And then, like, what's, what's life with one joint? It's nasty. Exactly. And you like everybody else out here. <laughs> Portland and Utah are still number one in oh, the West. But wait, though. Can we... <coughs> oh, you want to stick on the, on the Nets? For, for real quick, back to Kyrie. I want to I want to talk about him on the court for a second, though, before we get to the rest of the Talk to me. I don't know. I don't really like what I'm seeing. Me neither. <laughs> I'm stand up. I need him with the ball in his hand. It's hard, like, because you kind of want to have Simmons with the ball in his hand to make sure he's engaged. He's worthless without the ball in his hand. That's yeah. the crazy part. He's worthless without it. Um, Kyrie off ball hasn't looked that great, even though it worked when he was playing with LeBron. And, like, I don't like some of the rotations Jack Vaughn be sending out there because they still getting cooked on defense. Like, they're yeah. just giving up offensive rebound after offensive rebound. Yeah. Like, Nick Claxton clearly is not big enough. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he's a good effort really, player. He gets he could block shots, whatever. He's it's crazy that that's you know that's lead the league in block shots between Durant and Claxton. Yeah, but they just frail. They just frail as shit. Yeah, like so, like they long as fuck. They can the, block yeah. some shit on the boards. On and the all board, that, they, like, they getting moved around, bro. Yeah, like, they getting moved around. Different. And then they be trying to have Ben as as center. Like it sound good, but he's not gonna be able to guard a nigga like Embiid come yeah, postseason nah, time. Nah, like that's nah. not gonna work. When the game slow down, you need somebody like you need a nigga with girth. Somebody pushing everybody around. Like you know who I propose. Um, I've been watching the Pelicans and like Valanciunas been getting kind of phased out oh, of the offense. Oh man, if they get Valanciunas, yeah, that, oh, that's that's I'm I'm yo, putting that out there, Valanciunas. What's his contract like? I, I don't know what his number. He probably getting something stupid, but like he don't like he getting less yo, and less minutes over I'm there. Stand up. They be going heavy, Larry Nance. They get Valanciunas. They need somebody like that. Just a big 
A yeah, big I mean, body. And Donald Jr. gets busy. He gets mad boards. He, he gets he, mad he can boards. Hit, he can hit the three. You know what I'm saying? He like he like he like a better uh, Brooke Lopez. You know what I'm saying? You might have to come off Claxton, Warren. That's cool. Maybe Seth. They might want. You know what I mean? But I got Claxton and Seth for you. Yeah, he's gonna it. give me Jonas. Yeah. I got Claxton and Seth for you. Yeah, Pat for Sentiment, sure. For sure. Like Nick, Nick Claxton, I like him, but he's like you say, he's, he's too, too frail. frail. Yeah, I like Claxton. He plays hard, we, but he's too frail. Yeah, y'all don't got five years to wait for Claxton to build, grow into his body. Like, nah, you know nah, we you need. Know? I gotta get this shit done now. Yeah, get Big Joe. Do a deal. Who's the GM over there? Turner want to leave so bad. Who? Miles Turner. He want to leave the Pacers so bad. Who? Because he's like, yo, I'm so tired of being in Indiana. He want to get drippy. But you know what's crazy? Indiana's won seven of their last nine. Who cares? They're not winning no They're chip. They're not winning no chip, yes. Yeah, and it's, you got to live in Indiana and know you're not winning a chip. Indiana is so nasty. Hey, what are we talking about? Tyrese been blacking them. Shout out to Halliburton. Shout out. I got, you know, I got, we're going to shout out the young nigga. Shout out to Shea Gildress. He been blacking. Oh, my God. He been going crazy. Early MVP, Luca. Still Giannis. Even though he missed a couple games. Going to be Giannis. Are you, are you saying like, are you saying like just for this, this section of the game? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know, B. That's a good question. Luca up there. AD been going crazy. AD been going crazy with no LeBron. No LeBron. Shot, I mean, shot, they don't got enough wins to be up to yeah. Shot to be up there, but. Yeah, but he's been blacking. He's yeah. been playing like an all-star. Can my man make the all-star team this year? Jeez, Louise. Yeah. He definitely all-star level. Let's talk football real quick. You see my Cowboys put the beats on Minnesota. Yeah, that was crazy. Their offense, I mean, sh- they look great without Zeke. And Zeke was there, though. He played. He got 15 snaps. He got a couple goal line touchdowns. That's all he need. We need him for short yardage shit. You know what I mean? Like, I still don't like Tony Pollard because they try to give Tony Pollard the ball twice on the goal line. He's just not big enough. Yeah, I didn't mean like, I mean like, like without Zeke being like the focus. The premium, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, less he, Zeke. Yeah, nah, like, yeah, less Zeke, more Pollard. I'm cool with short yards, Zeke. Zeke goal line, zone goal line, line Zeke. Zeke. Yeah, third line and one. Yeah. We need, you know what I mean. We need you to fall over, like short yeah. sh- down and distance, short and distance. Pull up, Zeke. We got you because yeah. you're still big as fuck. And, yeah. we, and I and I'll give it to Zeke. That nigga's a good pass blocker. Like he could do that. Tony Pollard can't block a fly. Zeke oh, can block some shit. He barely, you know what I mean. He burly. Yeah. So that helps. You know what I mean. We, we want to put him in blitz packaging, like blitz pickup. Like I'm all for it. Oh, but nigga, this rough and Tony Pollard. Oh yeah, nah. They they tossing his little ass around like. He's fast as shit, but that's the drawback. He's dumb little. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. he's not pit blocking shit. That's crazy. Is it Mahomes MV- Mahomes MVP to lose at this point? You feeling him like that? I mean, they, like yeah, that's what it's looking like, bro. <laughs> like Josh Allen had a couple stinkers back to back. Yeah, it's getting you know what I mean? blow about shit. You know what I'm saying? Kirk Cousins just got smacked on TV. Yeah. Um Lamar, he's they've been winning, but he ain't been blacking like stat wise. Yeah, this shit nasty. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I guess who else is you gonna go? Saquon, I guess he's the only other nigga I can think of. But mm-hmm. the Giants is like they're not yeah. gonna give it to a running back. Man, they, some, it's, it's Jalen Hurts, dark horse. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, let me not front on he Jalen Hurts. Dark horse? It's like, Jalen yeah, Hurts and Patrick's them two like, niggas. Like, can I get a dark horse <laughs> vote for? Jalen I, yeah, Hurts? I, you, I I respect Jalen Hurts. You he right. carrying a what, a what seven and one team, eight and one. Some nah, shit? you're right. You're right. I would go Allen, um, Hurts, Tua. Even with the missed games? Yeah. Tua, Tua, yeah, because when he's, he's undefeated for the season when he starts. Oh, for real? Yeah. I didn't even know that. So it's like, you know, Tyreek's having a hell of a year. Niggas didn't think he was going to be able to get him to rock it. Yo, Yaka. Tyreek Hill is retarded, regardless. Yeah, he's blacking. My man Jamar Chase will be back soon, hopefully. Joe Burrow, Joe, ben, the Bengals. Joe been bubbling. Joe Yo, been cooking. I, mean, the bang, I was just about to say the Bengals is quietly like six and four. They like started a little, they started a little slow, but Joe been cooking the he past. He been cooking, games. bro. Like let's not front on him. You know what I mean, like Joe been on his shit, like with no Jamar Chase. Yeah, with, yeah exactly, exactly. So without like, without Jamar Chase, he been he been black. Wait till Jamar Chase come back, nigga. <laughs> I got him more fantasy. Cook. I'm just trying to just close out. If I can get above five hundred in fantasy, I'll be cool. Just trying to win out, man. Make my shit look respectable. Because I still take it serious. I'm going to do some side backs for the next couple of matches yeah. with some breach back. Yeah, yeah. Shut you know up. what I mean? Yeah, that's real Get shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Besides that, um, should we go into our favorite segment? Who you got for the Thanksgiving game, though? Oh, yeah. Dallas, duh. Da- I mean, yeah. Duh. You're going to so- pick Dallas. They're going to lose to the Giants with the- when the lights is on. That's, a that's how you part. feel? Wow. No, no respect? No respect. Man. Okay. I think they're going to lose to the Giants, B. The, the Bills going to beat Detroit. Uh, 
Vikings going to, Patriots going to do something against the Vikings? Think Vikings going to bounce back? Yeah. Believe in Bill? Yeah. I think they just going to bounce back because they got so embarrassed they're down 40 to 3. It's like they got to do something. I know the Bills better rate Detroit, son. Yeah. Didn't Detroit just beat on the Giants, though? They just won. Yeah, they just definitely just won. You know what I mean? They just won. Like, they definitely just they won. offense is like that. It's just they D can't stop nobody. Yeah. They definitely going to score. That's oh. for sure. Yeah, we're going to see. Yeah, B. You ready, bro? Yeah, should we get to our uh, favorite segment? Yeah. Start it off. Our favorite segment. We're all set. You know, you know. That we're all set. We got a segment called We're All Set. And then where we talk about basically what we're not feeling, what we're not jacking, what's a dub. I'm going to start it off. And um, I'm all set on uh, Sweetie. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, shit. <laughs> like, I just feel like her timing was gross. Like, my man Tate just died, and you just don't want to drop your trash mixtape and want to, like, I mean, take little shots and slander the men's. It's just like, yo, I get it, B. Like, you got to say your truth and all that and all that, but you don't got to drop that like that, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, get that shit some time, B. Like, you had mad time to drop something, B. You going to wait till, what, two weeks? Three weeks after the man after the man's man's die, yeah. The you was around and the you you was around and I ain't even hear no R.I.P. take um statement from you at all and you just was with around the niggas for years. Facts, facts. Like, nah, B. I'm not jacking her, bro. She's a dub, bro. She's she's a sleaze ball. I'm all set on her, B. What you what you what you all set on, bro? I was something we touched on earlier. I'm just all set on rappers complaining about their record deals. You know what I mean? Like, the information is out there. Um, like bro said, go watch the French Montana interview. Get a separate lawyer. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the internet is probably one of the best things that could have happened to like rappers. So now, if you got a buzz, there's really no reason to sign, bro. Like, I don't like. It's no reason to sign. Be like. So stop getting raped. You know what I mean? It, just don't be desperate. It's just start looking like ownership is so key. And I just want people to always start looking, you know what I'm saying, years down the line as opposed to next week. Because, you know, niggas are still signing their life away. You know what I mean? Especially a lot of you drill rappers. Especially y'all. Like, I know y'all young and shit, but if y'all already got a million followers and your, your, your videos is already doing a million views two, three days out the gate, like, you don't really got to jump out the window and sign to nobody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can still bubble. You could do shows, clearly, because you got a following. You know what I'm saying? You could do distro kid. I don't know all of the, you know what I'm saying, distribution joints, but you know the joints that'll give you the most points. And stream your shit, bro. Like, just worse, don't be so thirsty. Yeah, worse come worse. If you don't, if you really just clueless as how to do the shit and you need the machine behind you, at least sign some short shit. Short chain, short term you know I mean? deal, like, bro. Short, short term shit. niggas. One, one, one record, one eight, album. One album. Be like That's it, one off. Be one single even if you can. So you not nigga. just stuck in purgatory. You know what I mean? Do a single deal if you can. Fuck it if fuck an album if you do a single deal if you can, bro. Like just be easy. Like Yeah though. Thanks for Nick, thanks for pulling up. Happy hol and holidays, everybody. You know, subscribe, check in and all that. Make sure y'all do the right thing. Leave a comment. Holla. Holla.